good afternoon evening everyone welcome back to my channel i am coco for those who do not know me today we are playing five nights at freddy's 2. i watched some videos about five nights at freddy's one it looked boring so i'm doing two because i watched some videos about that it looks very interesting so i went out went to walmart got me a steam card bought five nights at freddy's so here we are so it's gonna be Gucci. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you. Ha ha. Okay. Ooh, can I take a you for one night? Okay. Are there no settings? Okay, no. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn my microphone down. So, be warned. If y'all get scared easily, be warned. This is the second one, so they're gonna be creepier, and I might scream. So, keep that in mind. I'm gonna be dramatic, and if I spill my Starbucks on me, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Grand reopening. Ooh, that's fancy. A hundred and hundred dollars a week. Okay. I don't know how to work anything. So, this is gonna be interesting. Okay. Press. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old locations, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but I, I want to reassure you, Fastbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Oh, and we should be paying them to guard you. No, I'm not gonna cry. Uh, now that being like, said, so if they jump the out system is without it. Like some fuckers. You're only the second guard to work at that location. Second guard? Uh, the first guy finished Boy, this week, but complained does, about no idiot conditions. This? Uh, we switched to the am, day shift. But... So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. So that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... The robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few what? seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about robots saying you lose an endoskeleton without its costume on, and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time, and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in, will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Well, I watched Markiplier play this, and he is so freaking dramatic. 
it's so funny, but it's like, if something pops out at me, I probably will scream if someone comes, kills me, tries to eat me, tries to stuff me in a body of an animatronic, I'm more likely gonna scream. And my mother will probably be like, why are you scared? Uh, I bought a horror game. I bought Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a horror game about being stuck in a animatronic body to catch you. during this video guys this, 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 I already feel the anxiety coming on No, 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 honey, no, 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 no. Uh, hey, listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, 
I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright lights. It would cause a system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold him in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest. I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the pretty mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Where's the boy? Hi? Did you say hi? Oh, no, no. That's why his pupils are getting bigger, but I don't, no. Hi. No, no, hi. Oh. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. made it sound like I watched like three episodes of this and I did not freak out myself. I just laughed. But it's more scary. It's more scary when you play it. Um yeah. Starbucks and we will be good to go. Might as well just take the lid off so I don't be making that annoying sound with the thing. But the thing is if I spill this that won't be good. Ew. No. Ew. I got it off my fingers. Okay. Time for night two. I don't get why they have security guards for, um, oops. I just closed out of that. And a lot of jumpers, okay. I don't get why they have, um, security guards for bots. Ah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Continue. I want to eat my gummies. Okay. Like, why? Like, mute call. I don't want to listen to you just ramble. Sound up make the bots not want to do
checks in people because I was just told by someone something so can I be happy for them? Okay. Oh crap. Oh crap. Let me turn my phone upside down so I can stop it. Check. My flashlight's not working. Oh my. Oh my cheese and crackers. Why is it gone? Where'd it go? Hi, Bonnie. Hi, oh, Chica. You're an old Chica. You're not Chica Chica. Hello, kind sir! Hello. 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 Hi, child.
snot all over my hand. Good grief. Oh, we got the back. Um. Okay. Okay. So, guys, that is Five Nights at Freddy's for you. Um, I'm probably going to try getting past night two off camera because you guys won't want to watch a 20 minute episode of me getting stuck on night two. Um, please forgive the scream, squeals, all that stuff. I'm going to give myself a heart attack if I keep playing for episodes. Like, I'm not going to, I'm going to keep playing for episodes. I'm not going to give myself a heart attack. It's just like, ah, first horror game. Okay. You know what? That's okay. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode and hope to see you guys on the other side. Peace.